All right, there's breaking news out of Georgia right now related to allegations of an affair between Donald Trump's special prosecutor in Georgia and the Fulton County District Attorney. CNN's chief legal affairs correspondent, Paula Reed, is working in the story for us. Paula, what can you tell us? So, well, if Nathan Wade is the special prosecutor appointed to oversee the sprawling election interference case down in Georgia, and former President Trump and two of his co-defendants in that case have accused Wade of having an inappropriate relationship with the district attorney, Fonnie Willis. Of course, her office uh, is the one that has brought this case. She appointed Wade, and they've also alleged that Wade used his own money to take Willis on lavish vacations. Now, Wade and Willis have not publicly responded to these allegations, and much of the evidence to support these allegations has surfaced during his divorce proceedings. And tomorrow, he was scheduled to have a hearing in that divorce where he was expected to take the stand and possibly be asked about these allegations. But he and his estranged wife have come to a, a settlement to resolve the issues between them and not have to have this hearing. So he will not take the stand tomorrow. He will not have to face the questions about this inappropriate relationship. But he and Willis have until the end of the week to respond to the judge overseeing the criminal case who now has to decide if the office or either one of them should be disqualified. Paula Reed reporting for us. Thank you, Paula, very much. Uh, for more on the breaking news right now, I want to bring in our legal analyst, Ellie Honig and Elliot Williams. Ellie Honig, I'll start with you. How does this development, the breaking news we just reported, impact the ongoing controversy over this alleged relationship? Well, Wolf, it's a temporary reprieve for the DA and for Nathan Wade. It means that Mr. Wade will not have to testify at his own divorce proceeding tomorrow. But it really doesn't do anything to undercut the core allegations made here by Donald Trump and some of his co-defendants. Those allegations are that there's a conflict of interest, that the DA, Fonnie Willis, had some sort of improper, allegedly romantic relationship with Nathan Wade. That's yet to be determined. That she chose him for this job, even though He's underqualified. He's never tried a felony criminal case, and yet now he's in charge of this massive RICO case that he was paid exorbitantly. He's been paid over $650,000 on this case, while the other contract attorneys on the case have been paid under $100,000. And then, as Paula said, that some of that money was used to pay for personal recreation for Wade and for the DA. So none of that goes away. It just means it's going to take longer until those facts come out. There is a hearing in this case scheduled for February 15th, so it's a reprieve until then. Interesting. You know, uh, Elliot Williams, Trump and his co-defendants we're closely anticipating Wade's testimony tomorrow. Is there any way they could still compel, compel him to testify? Uh, it's hard to say, Wolf. They certainly will, uh, they're, they're bringing a, a conflict of interest claim on the court and they are, they've said that they're going to subpoena the testimony. Now it's up to the judge to decide whether to allow that. Now, look, this is a profound mess and to the broader point, and Ellie touched on this a little bit, the relationship between these two individuals may well have been perfectly permissible, both in the eyes of the law and in the eyes of ethical rules uh, you know, that, that govern all Georgia attorneys. The simple fact is it still puts a cloud over the work of the prosecutor's office. And those are two very different things. People, adults can engage in uh, various forms of conduct or misconduct that, conduct that may not run afoul of the law, but it still casts doubt on the public's faith in the integrity of an investigation. And uh, this continues cloud is going to stay over the case um, if, if any of these pe people are going to come up and testify. Ellie, as you know, Trump and two of his co-defendants, they are seeking to disqualify Fonnie Willis, her office, and to have the case completely dismissed. How do you see this playing out? So I think the first part of that potential disqualification of Fonnie Willis and perhaps others in her office, that absolutely could happen if the judge hears all the facts and decides there is a conflict of interest relating to the hiring of Wade, the payment of money, the use of that money on the DA. And if we want precedent, look at this case, because during the investigative phase about a year ago, Fonnie Willis was in fact disqualified from a piece of it because she created a political conflict of interest for herself when she subpoenaed someone and then did a political fundraiser for that person's political opponent. So she already has been disqualified from a small piece of this case, and that same rationale could be used to disqualify her from the larger case. As to the second possibility, dismissal of the charges, that feels remote to me because this doesn't have to do with the actual criminal allegations against Trump and the others. Elliot, what do you think? 
No, I think that's absolutely the case, Wolf. It um, the, the charges themselves aren't affected by the conduct of any of the attorneys. They had to be brought before a grand jury and blessed, uh, uh, you know, and there had to be probable cause uh, established that that these charges uh, uh, that the, the charges are legitimate. Now, as to uh, you know getting the, the people kicked off the case, there's a few different options that the court is is going to have, and this will be the point of this hearing. Number one, whether to remove the prosecutor's office altogether. Number two, whether to bring in an outside party who could like you know a, the prosecutor from another office who could run the case, or number three, have someone from within the office run the case. Those are all sort of messy, and it's complicated uh, to decide how this is going to get resolved. Very complicated. Complicated indeed. Yeah. Elliot Williams, Ellie Honig, to both of you, thank you very much.